Hey, Revolution, everybody. This is Brother Leonard, the Truth Seeker, coming to you with a few minutes of truth, and I do promise you a few minutes of truth. I just came across a story that's kind of interesting, uh, being of the days and times that it's in. Uh, a college in Missouri, I believe it is the Ozarks College uh, in Point, Missouri. Uh, they are a Christian college. So I guess you know where I'm going with this. Maybe not, but they are, they have instituted a patriotism class for all incoming freshmen. Now, the class is basically teaching incoming freshmen patriotism, military, flag protocol, um, some sort of physical fitness where they're running around and marching. But this is all to basically create, create patriotism amongst its classmates. Now, the first thing is, is that this is a mandatory class. Hmm. At a Christian college. Hmm. We are going to indoctrinate you with patriotism. Hmm. Hmm. Find it very interesting. Very, very interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bunch of Christians sitting up there in a Christian college and sitting up there telling their telling their students that you must be patriotic in order to go to the school. And the sad part about it is this. According to uh, the Constitution, that is about the most un-American thing that can be done. Most un-American thing. Here's the thing about it. This doesn't become an issue unless somebody uh, takes a knee during a national anthem. Also, speaking of taking a knee, this same college, they have instituted a, a plan that if anybody on an opposing team that they are playing against, whatever the sport is, if another person on the other team takes a knee, they will forfeit the game. Hell. If I were playing another school to mess them up, to get them out of competition, hell, I would always take a knee. Stupid as that is. But that's what this Ozarks um, College is doing in Missouri. See, this, this whole thing about uh, patriotism and this false sense of patriotism especially with Christians. There is nowhere in scripture where it basically says that you are to be so loyal to your country that you go past the people. There's nowhere in scripture where it says that thou shall love your country. Hmm. There isn't. You may have, you may, the scripture talks about respecting your country and respecting the leaders but this whole patriotism thing is very dangerous and what Christians don't and fail to realize is that they are in fact creating an, a, an idolatrous situation with that American flag y'all worshiping this flag people Y'all worshiping these ideals and you're putting this stuff above Christ. Christ wasn't about the Romans, wasn't about the Jews when he was on earth. He wasn't about none of that. He was only about the kingdom of God. He ain't sit up there and try to be like, I'm going to be loyal to the, to the Jews. I'm going to be loyal to the Romans. No, he was like, I'm loyal to the kingdom of God and that's first. But Christians have another situation going on. 
All right. There's a few minutes right there. It's only five. So um, after this, um, I have a video of the ceremony that they're having. And you can see this for yourself. I found this in the Miami Herald. Uh, someone posted up the link in my news feed. Got that today. And I just wanted to share this with you. Christians, y'all are tripping about this country. Let me let me also say something real quick, and I'm going to go. Nothing in scripture relates to what goes on in this country. Let me say that again. Scripture as it relates to things happening in America is non-existent. I don't care how you try to frame it and put it in there. It's not existent. No. No, it's not existent. The people writing scripture had no clue. Past, past England, basically. Past Spain, they really had no clue. And what was past Spain? Hell, when they were trying to come across, remember, in scripture, remember, the, the Europeans were trying to come over to India. They were thinking that there was an India around. No, just get that out of your out of your mind. This whole American exceptionalism as it relates to Christianity is just annoying. Please stop it, people. Ozark College, you have a lawsuit waiting for you. Because the moment that you make something mandatory that is not necessarily needs to be mandatory as it relates to a you know a particular discipline or something like that somebody gonna challenge that and probably gonna win regardless of your private stuff because the first amendment says something else and that's basically what it is but y'all want this y'all y'all want to show yourselves being patriotic well patriotic is actually letting folk do what they need to do be able to protest the way they're going to protest. See, the problem is, is that they think that folk taking a knee doesn't understand patriotism. No, they understand patriotism. It's the fact that this country doesn't stand up for the patriots that are sitting up there on the knees. All right, I'm done. Revolution, everybody. This is your boy, Brother Leonard, the Truth Seeker, coming to you with a few minutes of truth. And tomorrow, we got some more stuff. I'll be on that on tomorrow. Revolution. Congratulations to the students before us. They are indeed a unique band of brothers and sisters, as this is the very first all-class formation at the College of the Ozarks. General Dake will now address the formation. Class, at ease. I want to congratulate every one of you for having been here, for being here and being the students who were selected to come to the College of the Ozarks and have the privilege, I think it's a privilege to be here, and certainly the, the ability to move on to something that's going to serve you well the rest of your life. There are 10 others or more who wanted to be where you are today and they're not. So they're depending on you to do the things that they would like to have done. So that's a burden that you carry, and I know that you'll do it well. This is obviously hard work you. We all go to work here. And we have a tendency when we think of work as something that's kind of a negative we do. But I would tell you, work brings dignity. Work is something that all of your life you're going to go through and people are going to say, well, where did you go to college? And you say, well, I went to a small college over by Branson. It was a work college. And you'll go on to tell them how you earned your degree. And they'll look at you with respect because it wasn't given to you. It's something that you worked hard for and you earned and you have. And the final thing that I would tell you is dream big. Don't limit yourself by only that which you think you can do. 
dream as big as you possibly can, get your sights as high as you possibly can, and then work toward that. Thank you for being who you are and all that you do. I'm looking forward to seeing you around the campus, and I know that you're going to succeed as you do that. We would like to recognize the sections who have excelled in the areas of academics and in fitness as of midterm. The Excellence in Academics Award goes to Section 6. The Excellence in Fitness goes to Section 3. Class, attempt. Huh. <laughs>